The reason Rack has exploded in the past couple of years. With the debut of Rack Extensions, you can customize your own rack with exactly the type of instruments, effects, and utilities your music needs. But that raises the obvious question. Which rack extensions are right for your music? Maybe you know you want a new EQ, but which EQ? That's where Rack Extension Trials become a perfect way to audition, compare, and test drive these devices in your own songs with your own music. Trying a Rack Extension happens in the same place and in the same way as buying a Rack Extension. In fact, the two buttons live side by side in the propeller head shop. Let's browse together and you'll see just how easy it is. I want to get a new synth. I'll browse Rack Extensions and specify Instruments. Let's see what's here. Okay, the Korg Monopoly is a classic piece of hardware. I'm definitely into checking that one out. Oh, an antidote is one I see talked about in the forums all the time. Trying these two rack extensions really is as easy as clicking the try button. The rack extension will download from the shop and install. And if you're currently running Reason, you'll be prompted to relaunch it so newly installed rack extensions can become available. Once you've launched Reason, rack extensions sit alongside Reason's other devices. I can create a Korg Monopoly in my rack the same way I've always created a Thor or Kong drum designer. Whether that's through the tool window or through the menus by going Create, Instrument, Korg Monopoly. Well, there it is. Let's check it out. Okay, I can already tell I'm gonna have a lot of fun with this one. The cool thing about rack extensions is that they're so seamlessly integrated with the other Reason devices you already have that you can try them out by swapping them into existing songs you're working on. So here's a track I've been working on using my old trusty Subtractor synth. It's nice, but now that I've got Antidote, let's see what it can bring to this existing song idea. If I click the Browse Preset button on Subtractor, I can navigate away from Subtractor and to my Rack Extension presets. Click on Antidote and click Show All to browse presets that obviously aren't Subtractor presets. While my song plays in the background, I can click and audition Antidote presets. Wow, that's really different than what I had, but it's great. I'll click OK and you'll see that the subtractor that I had in my song has changed to Antidote. The process of trying rack extensions is the same whether it's an instrument, a compressor, a reverb, or a CV utility for your own style of modular madness. And certainly the best way to see what works for you is to try it. Rack extension trials are completely unrestricted for 30 days, so you have plenty of time to kick the tires and take them out for a spin. So the big question now is, which one should I get? Monopoly or Antidote? I think I'll just play with them for a few weeks to get a good sense of them, but you know what? I think I'm probably gonna get them both.